there. Why well, yes, I do have a very staff. And oh, what's that? It's a flag! My Hero Academia flag? What? You nerd. That's not the point of the video. Today we're talking about teeth. Braces, Invisalign, ping. Uh, <laughs> if you have yet to catch the slight lisp I have developed, I have been doing Invisalign. I've been doing it for since July. This video is not sponsored, but I'm going to explain what Invisalign is, why I got Invisalign, uh, some pros and cons, as well as some tips. Invisalign is composed of invisible braces, plastic braces, that cause you to lisp. They're braces that you can remove while eating or drinking. The catch is you have to remove them to eat or drink. As far as the process goes of getting Invisalign, first thing I did was I went in for a consultation, discussed with my orthodontist whether or not it was an option, turned out it was. My next appointment, we made a mold of my teeth, and then I was given a download code to a really cool animation of how my teeth were going to move throughout my Invisalign journey. In the animation, there are 21 segments of my teeth moving. Each segment represents an Invisalign tray, and for me, I change my trays out each week. There are some treatments where you change your tray every two weeks or sometimes every month. Mine is every week. After the mold is made of your teeth and that is sent off, it actually takes about a month before you can actually start the treatment, and you are given this set of package trays trays. Uh, yeah, so here are the trays in the bag and each week I switch to a new tray set. I'll show you what the trays look like. I'm going to show you a new tray, one that's not been used. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, so this is a new set of my Invisalign trays. I'll be moving to these next week. Currently I'm on week 12. Teeth are getting better, uh, but I have again 21 weeks total so far. Excuse me while I take my hair out. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's the basics of Invisalign. As to why I decided to do Invisalign, there are quite a few reasons. One, I did have overcrowding on my bottom teeth. Two, I was noticing that my top tooth was actually starting to twist. And the most important reason for me was I have TMJ and my TMJ is caused by an overbite. And so I have handy dandy rubber bands that I am currently not wearing because they make me lisp a lot more. But on my top set of Invisalign, I have little hooks to hook them into. If you don't know what TMJ syndrome is, uh, basically, when you overwork the muscle and joints in your jaw, it can lead to your jaw locking up and not functioning properly. And because of my overbite in my adolescent years, uh, I started grinding my teeth in my sleep and also clinching during the day. And it's not something that I was conscious that I was doing. And I remember the day that I actually fully got the syndrome because that's the day my jaw actually locked up and it took me three or four hours of like trying to open it until it finally went and then when it went that's when my jaw popped out of socket a little bit. You can't notice it too much if I talk uh, but if I point it out you can. Uh, yeah so I would get lock jaw from then on out and since I've started doing a misalign and getting my overbite corrected I've stopped grinding. I've stopped clinching and my TMJ has gotten better. TMJ syndrome is caused by a multitude of things, so although it's helped my personal TMJ, it, that's not to say it'll help someone else's if it's a different case scenario. So my choice to do a misalign was 50% cosmetic and 50% I probably really need this. Uh, yeah, but now I will tell you my pros and my cons. I'm not gonna lie, my cons list is longer than the pros. My first two weeks of Invisalign. I thought I had made the biggest mistake of my life. When I first went in for my appointment, I did not realize that attachments were a thing because in all the advertisements, you see this nice little sheet of plastic over perfect teeth and that's what Invisalign looks like. And here are some pictures from the web and I will show you on my teeth real quick. You get attachments on your teeth, little dots, little spiky things. Uh, yeah, and I wasn't expecting to get attachments on my front teeth. Uh, so I was like, is this going to be an issue? Probably. In addition to getting attachments, they also file in between your teeth. First week of Invisalign, I felt like someone had punched me in the face. Eventually you'll get to a point where it is just like a little bit of pressure on your teeth or something, but the initial bit, I didn't want to have to take them out to eat. Your teeth are so sore that you can't really chew food. To this day, I can't eat cucumbers. <laughs> They're too hard for me to chew. You can't really eat crisp or anything that's too hard or that you have to use your teeth to like break it off. Candy is really difficult to eat and I wouldn't recommend it. And these are all while your trays are out. <laughs> um, when your trays are in, 
you can only have cold water. Also, the attachments, if you do have them on your teeth, stain really easily. So it makes it difficult to have things like coffees or teas, which makes me sad. As well as alcohol, which I'm not that fussed about because I don't drink. So that one's fine. You do have to wear them 22 hours a day at least, but you also have to calculate the time it takes to take them out and to put them back in. Each time you put them back in, you have to brush your teeth with toothpaste. My toothbrush has a stormtrooper on it. Cool. You also have to wash off your retainers you have to floss I use mouthwash too and that's every time you eat or drink anything without your trays in <laughs> so in addition to it being actually quite painful to take the trays out and put them back in it's a bit of a process and to even put them back in as fun as it is to brush your teeth all the time it's not it's really not the levels of pain for Invisalign I've heard differ for different people for me since it's quite a quick treatment in addition to me having a load of attachments I will say that mine's been more on the painful side <laughs> uh yeah no that first week I thought I'd made a mistake because I had all of these attachments all over my teeth it felt awful. My teeth were like bleeding. Also, additionally, because they had already filed my teeth down, it wasn't like I could stop it because suddenly I had these filed gaps in the front of my teeth. And so the only way I was gonna get rid of those gaps was to do Invisalign <laughs> and complete my treatment. About three weeks in, I was really happy because um, I could already see it starting to make a difference. Now that I'm 12 weeks in, I'm really glad I did it. I'm so glad. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I feel great. Two more cons. <laughs> you will develop a little bit of a lisp. It's hard not to. <laughs> and lastly, it's expensive. <laughs> now I don't have many tips from this line, but I do have some tips. My main one is a mini crochet hook. This is the tiniest crochet hook I could find. It's kind of hard to get the trays off your teeth because of the attachments and the fact that they're so well formed to your teeth and they're pushing against your teeth. So I researched and saw online that they had these tray removers uh, and they just looked like little hooks and they cost a ton of money. So I had thought to use a crochet hook. I got this for a pound and the nice thing about it is it's got a nice little rounded tip as well as a nice little rounded hook. So that is my number one recommendation if you do have misaligned and have a difficult time getting your trays out. You do want a brush that is separate from your actual brush that you put toothpaste on. Toothpaste isn't good for the trays, neither is mouthwash. By the end of the week, they get gross. <laughs> so I got these cleaning tablets for them and I love them. <laughs> It's the kind of stuff you use for dentures, so I feel a bit like an old lady, but it's fine. But this tablet looks like this. You dissolve it in water, you put your trays in the water, and let it clean itself for 30 minutes. It helps the tray from getting too much bacteria built up on it, and it kind of keeps them from swelling. <laughs> Next tip, have lots of chapstick. Lots and lots of chapstick. <laughs> With the Misaline, you can't wear lipstick anymore. You can get a chapstick that has like a pearl effect. I also like the raspberry rose one. Raspberry rose. Last, last, last tip of the day. Your trays are sharp. <laughs> They're very sharp. So a lot of people recommend using a nail filer to softly make the edges a little more gentle. But you know me, I always go that one step extra and I have an electric manicure kit. <laughs> manicure kit here. Buzzy buzz, buzzy buzz. Uh, I like this because I can control it a bit more. It doesn't take too much off of them. It's nothing to worry about, but it just gets that slight little edge off of certain problem points of the tray. Look at me and my cool braces. <laughs> to be fair, when I was in school, all of the cool kids did have braces and now they're all very pretty people still. You know that story they tell you of like, oh, the popular kids, they're gonna go on and not do great things. It's not true. <laughs> they're gonna go on and be pretty and rich. <laughs> but will they have a cool race staff in my Hero Academia flag? Probably not, probably not. Or this nifty egg thing. Or an adorable music box. This is probably the most normal thing I have in my house. And that's odd, that's very odd. As far as the pros go, they are less noticeable than braces. Um, it's more self-involved, and so you're the one changing your trays out every week. At the same time, it means that's less trips to the orthodontist. I'm very fortunate that my treatment's actually gone quite quickly. And also, because you're having to brush your teeth so much, uh, your dental hygiene does get better. Overall, Invisalign, it's a process, but it's, it's a good one. I am going to get back in the habit of doing more vlog-type videos on Mondays, art videos on Fridays. Sorry I've been lax the past few weeks, I've been in Disney. 
However, I have been uploading with Tom on Dorky Ever After. We have three videos up on there now. Our last video was about Tom and myself being in different Hogwarts houses. We were also given these really cool trunks <laughs> that are personalized from the Platform 9 and 3 quarters shop. Uh, yeah, so there's that. And the video before that is us going on a dorky date at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And we took this really cool picture for it and it's my favorite picture. Uh, so if you'd like to see us at Mickey's Not So Scary or doing the unboxing, those videos are on our new channel, Dorky Ever After. Please subscribe to it. So that's been life so far. So thank you for watching and I will see you on Friday. Bye, surprise, surprise, surprise.